Hey guys, I'm doing my TBR for the book in time um, reading challenge in, well it's from a week from February 14 and I found this one, this video over at Lovely Girl Reads who is another fellow Australian woman and she will be doing it with her friend and I thought, you know, that would be a really good thing to do because I you know, I have I've read, read uh, I read contemporary, but I haven't read contemporary in a while. And usually I can read contemporary books like in a day or two if I actually sit down and read and don't spend all my day doing other things. So I thought that I would um, make a video and see how I go. Even if I just read one book a week, I'll be very happy. And here is my TBR, and these are the challenges I will be doing. So the first challenge that I will be doing is read a book with an LGBT character and I thought that I would read uh, One Man Guy by Michael Barakiva. Um, I've heard some really great things about this. I love the cover. I'm really excited to read it. It seems like a short book but I think it um, deals with culture and love and friendship and I just think this would be a really perfect book to read to cover that challenge. Which is, oh, I love the spine. I love it. Something about the font too. Then I have picked up a book about mental illness and I've chosen Say What You Will by Cami McMurvin. And I believe this is about somebody who has cerebral palsy and the other character, um, has OCD so you know OCD is partly a mental um, illness as well and also cerebral palsy is um, I guess you can say it is a it's part of an illness it's is it an illness I'm not quite sure <laughs> but I'm guessing I'll learn a lot about it in this book um, yes I can be sometimes ignorant to these sort of things uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this. When I heard about this book, I just knew I wanted to read it. I just had the feeling that it's going to definitely show me things, teach me things, and change my perspective on love and life. And I'm very, um, I, I support a lot of causes, um, for illnesses, either mental or physical, or, um, you know, things like Asperger's and things like that. So I definitely can't wait to read this book and find out what it's all about. And then, um, I'm not quite sure if this is actually set in my home country, but I do know it's written by an Australian author, and um, it has the council book, the children's book council shortlisted book, and that is Graffiti Moon. And this has been on my, this also kind of covers um, a book that's been on my shelf for a really long time, or the longest, and I really can't remember which one has been on there for the longest, but it kind of covers two challenges as well, and um, I flicked through it today and I was like, oh, it's really short and it looks really interesting. Um, I never really had an interest in graffiti until I did my public relations course and sort of got more insight into the world of graffiti and um, the expression. Uh, and the um, just the artwork and the community as well. So I definitely think I'm going to be coming at it from a different perspective this time. So that is my uh, haul. Like I said, if I just read one book, I would be really happy. So not haul <laughs> to be read for this um, challenge. So thank you guys for watching.